right. So our first uh, theory of knowledge are, uh, that we're going to examine is that of Alvin Goldman's. Uh, Alvin Goldman is a philosophy professor who was born in 1938, still alive and kicking, and as far as I'm aware, he's still teaching at uh, the University of Arizona. Uh, so he claimed that the root of knowledge boils down to two necessary conditions, right? truth and belief. Right? Justification for him, uh, let me clarify this. He is an externalist, um, pragmat uh, uh, sorry, external correspondentist, right? Um, and he believes in realism, functionally. Right? Uh, t -t 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 I believe it's reliabilism. It's a causal theory of knowledge, so it's reliabilism. So, external reliabilist correspondent theory. Right. Those are the three elements of his theory of knowledge. Right. So the root of knowledge comes down to belief, which is going to be those internal mental states, and truth, right, which is going to be the way the world is. Right. There's going to be a point where they intersect and overlap, and those beliefs that are true um, are going to be justifiable by the external world, and that is going to be knowledge, right? So on this view, truth, and this is what makes it correspondent, is something that can exist without our belief in it, right? It doesn't matter what we believe, the truth is the freaking truth, all right? And if it believes without, uh, if it exists without belief, then it can also exist without being knowledge. There's plenty of things that are true that we have yet to uncover in the world, and therefore things that we don't know, and also don't believe. So whether we believe it or not has no bearing on whether it's true. This is functionally a form of what's called realism. Uh, and realism is the idea that truth is dependent upon the way the world is. Right? which is why realist theories tend to align with uh, externalist theories of justification. Right? Um, not all forms of realism lead to correspondence theory, however, although many do tend to take a correspondence tilt, uh, 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 tilt with regards to the nature of truth. So the world is a certain way, uh, and what is true of it can be communicated in propositions. Right? And what this means is that anything we say uh, that is a statement, right, an assertion, has a truth value to it. Right? It's either true or it's false. So the statement that the sky is green right, is either true or false. Right? Um, belief, however, uh, has some further necessary conditions. Right? It rests on two types of mental states, according to Goldman. First, you have sensation or qualia, uh, the objects of sensation, and this is going to be the nature of experience. Right? Um, this is where a lot of the variation in belief comes from, according to him. Right? Uh, is going to be uh, the basis of belief that comes from our individual experiences, right? Uh, one of the things that's going to separate out a lot of uh, the differentiation between belief, uh, uh, between beliefs, is going to be things like the number of rods and cones in your eyes, right? Uh, it tends to be the case that uh, women, females, uh, uh, biological, uh, uh, biologically female uh, humans, have an extra set of rods and cones for a total of four in their eyes for every three that the uh, uh, that the males of the human species do, right? which allows them to see color in a wider gradient um, scale than uh, men do, or at least process the color more right? with greater, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
nuance, let's go with. Uh, so this is how we experience the world without further beliefs, without things like pointing out, you know, oh, that's red. Well, the statement, the claim, oh, that's red, is not part of the experience of the qualia that is in fact a propositional attitude that we impose upon the experience and propositional attitudes are the second necessary uh, condition of beliefs it's the language of our mental states right it's how we frame those experiences and make them sensible not just to us but to others right uh, we put them in terms of propositions, statements of truth. Right? And then finally, according to, um, and here's where we get this intersection uh, between truth and belief, right? Uh, knowledge comes in the form of doxastic attitudes. Right? And doxastic attitudes are going to be mental intellectual assessments. It's going to be, uh, this is going to cover beliefs, doubts, judgments, justifications, all that good stuff, right? So knowledge comes from the intersection between belief and truth and uh, those um, judgments and everything that align with uh, uh, align with truth that we have decent justification for the truth of is going to be knowledge uh, that's going to get or grant us knowledge right? uh, so without doxastic attitudes we can't have knowledge because we can't have justification right uh, it's not enough for us to just luck into the truth the, we have to still have decent justification, which is why it's going to be externalist right? um, in nature, because it has to be what justifies our belief that this is truth, regardless of whether or not it is the truth. Right? So we have to appeal to the way the world actually is, independent of our beliefs, to justify those individual beliefs. Right? That's why... Uh, Goldman's uh, theory is a form of reliabilism, a causal theory of knowledge. Okay. Good? Okay.